it's that time of year again. It's showtime. <laughs> and this is the time of year when we all start to get a bit panicky. When we think, oh my goodness, I've got to do a show. I've got to do a show in front of parents. I've got to prepare something with children and in English. This is when you start sleeping a lot less at night time and not eating at all because you start thinking, okay, I've got to choose a script. I've got to think about costumes and makeup and props and scenery. And it can be all very overwhelming. And that's before you even think about getting children up on stage and actually acting in English, singing and dancing, when a lot of the time it's even possible just to get them lined up in a straight line or in a semicircle. It can be really a nightmare. So today what I'm going to do, I'm here on stage, on my little stage, uh, to show you how stage directions and getting to know your stage a little bit, how to, to use stage directions, can help you teach children a little bit about how to enter onto a stage and how to position themselves and makes your life a little bit easier. So first of all, let me put this down and I'll show you a few positions. So for example, let's do the first one. This is center stage. If I move here, this is down stage center. And if I move up, ta -da, this is upstage center or center upstage. If I move over here, this is upstage right here, downstage right here, downstage left here, upstage left. And here, I'm backstage, <laughs> I'm in the wings, you can't see me. <laughs> Okay, let's go back. So this is center stage. Now the best thing what you can do with your, chil with your children is to play a little bit of a game with them to make it a lot more interesting and obviously to help them learn this new terminology. Now, before you start, it's best that you introduce left and right, forward and back but, and practice that a little bit, otherwise they'll find themselves a little bit lost here on stage. So once you've practiced left and right, forward and back, then you can start giving them some stage directions. So down stage center, everybody will move down here. Or if you just say down stage, then you expect everybody to stand in a line. If you say up stage, children will move in a line up stage or well, up stage center is here. Okay. And then you can go through the action. So up stage, right, up stage, left, Downstage left. Now remember, when I say downstage left or upstage left, it's the actor's left, not your left. So always look at it from the children's perspective and not from yours. Uh, now, obviously, when you're going to give some directions, you always want to get, make it a bit more fun, theatrical. So I always recommend getting a director's speaker and give us some fun directions with that. And let's make it a little bit more theatrical too. So what you could do, for example, is say a word, for example, Shakespeare, and show an action for the children to imitate. So when you call out Shakespeare, children will then say, to be or not to be. Or for example, you could call out a press singer, and the children could start singing, Vinchada, Vinchada, I love singing. Or you could call out, for example, Diva, and the children could say, Ah, oh, makeup, costumes, lights. So you're just making it a little bit more theatrical, fun, and for the children to mimic and learn, obviously, some English language. So <laughs> this is just a little bit of an introduction to stage directions and directing your children in their end of year performance on stage. It's going to take a little bit of practice. Don't think they're going to understand immediately. They're all going to behave brilliantly on stage. You don't have to be on stage to practice it. You can practice it in your room before getting them on stage. Um, and remember always to say stage left and stage right is their perspective, not yours. So that's it for today on the stage. I hope it was quite clear what to do. So good luck with starting directing with your kids. And remember, be theatrical!